Hello! Howdy. It's Juju. Nick. And we're starting a band. We got our drum kit today. I'm pointing off camera and you don't know that I'm pointing or what I'm pointing at. So I'm going to show you. We got the Easter EDS 480 drum set in the mail today. Thanks to our friends at Amazon who are not an paid endorsement, but we will gladly accept anything you people have. Support the arts, Jeff Bezos, that's all I'm saying. So we're gonna unload this. It's our first drum set ever. We're really freaking excited, so mm -hmm. we're gonna see what's in here and how hard it is to put together. Everything I've read about it is encouraging, but also a bit discouraging because I've never put together a drum kit before. This will like God. What's this? Oh, the heads probably. Yeah, that's what this is. And then, here's the symbols. Ooh. What does it stand for? Now you said it's a symbol. What, oh, what does it represent? It looks like a UFO. I guess these go together. Well, Nate, I've never seen a hell of any of these before. Is there a manual anywhere? I don't see one. It might be in with the heads, but... That's not a manual. This star would never disappoint you. Maybe. We'll see. And you've got these at the stands, I think. Okay. Surprisingly heavy. The box doesn't smell very good, which is rather surprising. I never got a mail that smells bad. It's wow, it's a beautiful tom. Actually, you should name it Sawyer. Jesus. That would be your Tom Sawyer. It's dirty. It's beautiful. When you wipe it off. It actually doesn't. That actually looks pretty good. That looks great. I like the it's silver kind of beads. It, it actually matches my um, snare. Right Your there. snare. Cool. Nice. Not a bad looking logo. And it has the word Eastar, which Laura. was a um, English fertility goddess, Eoster, who got her name from Ishtar. So that's a little spiritual lesson there. And there's the, uh... Hey, that would make this box your like, Easter basket. Oh my... It's your e... It's your... Oh my god. Illegal. I have no idea what this is. I'm guessing this is another It's a stage. box. Dumbass. I know, right? Look at this fucking guy. Look at all the stuff over there. And then there should be a gigantic bag full of fittings. Oh, these are the stands. Then what's in the other bags? Ooh, I don't know. I believe this is for the snare drum. This it's reminds me of that um that episode of the Twilight Zone with the guy on the asteroid. Oh yeah, when he opens up the box and it has. The... And it's a chick. Yeah. And he's like, "Fuck yeah!" What was the first thing she says? I forget. Um, hi, my name is Elisha. What's your name? What's your? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. No. No. It's funny because the, the last thing she says Stumbles. is his name at the end of the episode. Anyway, that's interesting. yeah, that is interesting. Maybe that's on purpose. So there's... Is that a tambourine? It is! It's three! It's a magic trick! You do the... Yeah, cool. I've heard all the hardware on these are alright. The heads that come out of it are like in there, I guess. Are apparently not so great, but as the symbols are also not very great. That's but right. all of the hardware otherwise is actually pretty nice. Like these stands are as budget drum kits go are actually pretty nice. Well it's alright. It's a starter kit and we're a starter band. We don't deserve better. 
We'll work our we'll work our way up to to better. And besides, I don't really don't know what good drum equipment is. I'm going wrong. Um, well, if we had a billion dollar drum set right now, we wouldn't appreciate it, and we wouldn't know how to use it properly. So that's true. I mean, once I've I figure out what I don't like about this, I can then appreciate what I do like about something else. Which yeah. It's when everybody starts playing guitar, most people start and leave that with something that's kind of shitty. Which is the case with me, it's probably the case with you as well. And then when you get something really nice, you really appreciate it. Like my bass over there, that's the yeah. nicest instrument I've ever owned. You keep them. It's a thing inside a thing. Multi things. It's a tom. Tom green. It's not green. There you go. And then there's the biggest of them all. Top of the rest of the nesting doll. The bass drum. And then there is the instructions at the very bottom. It just about completely covers up the drum rug, all the parts together. Oh, we got a drum rug, everybody. Oh, yeah. We found it in a barn yeah. out back, and it was. Do I have a knife? Yeah. Of course. Alright. Well, I guess the only thing we do is just start breaking into stuff. So. At least we have all this open space at the end, and couches and everything in the way. This would be a pain. And coffee tables. I know, it's a good thing we don't have furniture getting in the way of music. We had planned to put a couch in here, but I'm thinking that might be a bad idea. Because if it covers up this whole drum rack, I may as well just leave his chairs. Okay, so here's the snare. It's a nice wrapping system. Yep. The beautiful Easter snare. Alrighty. Nice box to go in the bonfire tonight. That would be nice. Alrighty. It's like Christmas, but a lot better. But Easter. <laughs> Because it, it, it's you could, there's a joke in there somewhere about the birth and death of Christ, but I'm not very funny. Alrighty, I think this is the bass drum kicking thing. Ah. Yep. Kick pedal. Alrighty. It's a kick pedal. Be back for other stuffs. Oh. Is that plumbing or reefer pipes? <laughs> I think that's what's the uh, symbols. Cool. And here's the 20 pound bag of fittings that this is going on everything. Good. I don't know what that is. I think it's some sort of wand. Chopsticks. Let's see here. This box is bent and broken. And I hear metal jingling and jangling. My spurs go jingle, jangle, jingle. You know what song that's from? Nope. That's disappointing. Now, now that I say it, I don't remember the name of that song. So that's disappointing. That I know what movie that line is from. What about you, Lash LaRue? Can you keep your spurs from jingling and jangling? The gum went off. It was an accident. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Pulp, fi Pulp Fiction. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's an artificial Christmas tree. <gasps> It's more fittings, I think, it's, for the symbol. I don't know. It's, it's more reefer thing. pipe plumbing. Ooh, that's a big syringe. Not a wand. It's like that one in the film Troll Hunter. Ooh. Jeez. It's like robot gravel. I think this is how you're supposed to Supposed. We don't follow rules. This is rock and roll. You shouldn't cut towards yourself, though. What? You shouldn't cut towards yourself, though. Yeah, I know, but... This is a pain in the ass.
think there's sticks in here. There's sticks in the yard. That's dumb. We don't need sticks. I know, right? There's another stand and some drumsticks and some wrenches to work on the car. Cool. I already have some sticks, but. I guess these will be a nice extra set. Yeah, that's great. For when I inevitably send one flying, I'm going to my house. Now. Thanks for sending us extra sticks. Easter, we're very happy with our purchase. I am indeed. And there's a UFO. That's my favorite part so far. I like the bass drum. It looks pretty neat. This thing, I don't need to cut this. No? I think this is all the heads. This is wild. This two drum. Alright, so, uh, I did that upside down. These will be replaced as soon as possible. Ah, uh, they're good enough for us, man. We don't know any different. We'll give them a shot. Yeah, give them a shot, but Remo heads are much nicer. I'm probably going to use that snare drum uh, that I already have, because it has good Remo heads on it. And I think that's just about all the boxes. That's all that's left is... All right. Put it all together. Well, we're going to put it all together. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bus. Hold up. All right. Is that man with his knife? The trick is to carry a fixed blade so you don't have to do the cool thing. Oh, that's how big it is. Neat. Yeah, it's a little bitty. Pedal. What kind of pedal is it? It's the Azure. Oh, the mini fuzz pedal, AP, and some numbers. 303. 303. And I listened to a bunch of videos of this one. I really like the way it sounds, and I like the way it's, it's small. And it was only like $28, which is a great price. That's a lot less than what I'd expect. Ah, oh, it came with a business card. I love those. I have a bunch of them taped to my wall. Oh, and it came with a piece of a Velcro tongue cleaner. Which is, and then one of these. Yep. So, there's a cord. And this is the Azure Fuzz. So lovely. It looks so really nice. neat. It's like a little robot. It's got a little face. Yeah. His eyes and his little nose. There's his mouth. Nice. You can stop. It again. It's got a pentagram. <gasps> <laughs> this is hardcore devil rock and roll stuff. Indeed. So you've got some sheet music, which is step five, which I think is funny. I can't read sheet music, but I guess it's kind of neat. Well, it's going to be just like bop, 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 right? Because it's just drums. So yeah. it's just going to be bop, bop, bop. Probably some form of bapping. It looks like a robot stuttering. <laughs> so the Azure, Azure pedal, fuzz pedal, it does not come with a cord, which is cool. That's fine. So I used my own adapter and plugged it in. And look at that beautiful light. Oh, the robot's nose is glowing. Beep. It's like he has a cold, he's got a blue nose. So now we'll give it a try and see how it sounds. Here we are, this is our progress so far. We've made a drum and we're trying to figure out how tight the tension should be on it. Yeah, I have no idea um, so, to what level to stop tightening it, so make sure I don't need to break anything. We're going to YouTube. To the tubes! Yeah! And here we are, a couple hours later, which, not that it took that long. We just uh, did a lot of goofing off and went to the store and stuff. Uh -huh. But it, the instructions were great. All the parts were there. They even left us a whole extra pile of stuff. So, Easter, thank you. Your drum set, we love it. Yeah, it is, it is nice. It has a neat sound. And nothing was damaged. Everything was in the box. Mm -hmm. It was perfect. And we just goofed off and got it together in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. And it looks fantastic. 
It's shiny and black. I'm gonna have to go over and wipe some some all these little particles <clears throat> off. But other than that, the finish itself is actually pretty nice. The chrome looks very nice. It's not all shitty. I didn't line up the heads because I'm a dumbass, but um. Yeah, it's it's the first time we put a drum set together, so we had the heads on backwards, and we forgot to stuff stuff down inside them. Yeah, and had to open them up and then put stuff in it and then mute it. And... So it probably we probably could have done it in an hour or less if we had known what we were doing, but we didn't. So because we're starting a band, so we don't fucking know. <laughs> and um, also, we got the pedal, which sounds great. I'll uh, record myself playing with it. In a bit. And um, that's it. We got our first drum set. Alright, so there's our drum box. It's the end of day one. And uh, we're celebrating with the Pagan Bonfire and the remains of the drum stuff. Any final words before we sign off? Well, nothing's coming to mind, but I guess uh, it bodes well for the future. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody.